Hey, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Readings. Gemini. We're going to the Field Tarot. These are by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. Gemini. 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 Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Gemini. We have the Prince of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. Sorrow. We have Dedication. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Two of Cups, Union. We have the King of Discs, Power. And we have Harmony, the Ten of Cups. Okay, Gemini. There seems to have been some sort of a loss here. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is uh, the work card. There could have been a possibility that you might have showed some emotion. Um, what kind of emotion? Maybe endearing. But it's, it appears that you might have shown some kind of emotion at work. Uh, there's a possibility that you may have um, been forwarded elsewhere, transferred. Or maybe put on lesser hours, downsized. Or maybe you might have been fired, but there was great sorrow that followed this emotion that you showed. Now the emotion with the the uh, Prince of Cups, the, the emotion doesn't have to be love. The emotion could have been um, maybe just got emotional about something at work, which caused great sorrow. Now, there is someone here that you seem to have some sort of power over. And that would be the two cups, this union that you have with somebody. Well, what appears here with the king of discs and the ten of cups. But I need another card because I got a feeling that something's going on here. Yeah, with the two of, of pentacles, a change. Hold on. And the hermit. Uh, I think you've got a great power over someone here, but it scares you to death. Maybe because they're kind of wanting that power. Maybe because they want you to show that power of this union. Maybe because they want you to show that Ten of Cups. There's no doubt in my mind that you're feeling it. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, Ten, Ten, Red... I mean, this, uh, but there's something here that, that makes you feel like uh, um, a change comes over you. Or you just feel uh, uneven, unsteady. It's something that makes you feel um, imbalanced. And, and then it's hermit mode. Hermit mode for Gemini. So let's, let's keep going here. And let's see if we can figure out what is happening. With the Prince of Wands in the reverse, and that could be what's going on, and a Justice in the reverse. You have choices with the Seven of Cups. Hold on. And the competition here. What? What? And uh, this is a Seven of Discs waiting. All right. Um, do you feel... That do you feel that maybe you have to go into competition here with someone? Uh, this is a soulmate here that makes you feel ten ten red. But yet there's this imbalancing which causes you to hermit, ghost. Causes you to run, hide, don't talk about it. Um it, it's not a, a karmic thing though, because justice is in the reverse. So it's not a karmic thing. You have choices. 
to be with somebody. But, but you feel competition for some reason. And, and you always put yourself on weight. You, you always wait, but that's the twins. One twin says, get up and go, and the other twin says, no, sit here and wait. Let's see if we can find out what you're waiting for. It falls to the left. We want it. Falls to the left. We want it. So I have the Six of Cups, which they call innocence. Now, the Six of Cups is someone from the past. It's someone that you have history with. Now, it could be a, a family member, but, but I don't think it is. What's going on? We have the Queen of Wands, Vibrancy. And we have the Two of Wands, which I call Planning, which I call Standing at the Crossroads. Gemini. The Nine of Cups, Fulfillment. This is Wish Come True. All right, Gemini. It is apparent that uh, whoever that you are thinking of is... Is this soulmate, someone from the past, it appears that they very, very much care for you. It also appears that um, there's this uh, a feeling of instability, a feeling that we have to run and hide, ghost. Uh, um, with the uh, Prince of Wands, it just says that there's this is not a a small passionate thing. This is something with the Queen of Wands that really, really, really um, makes you passionate. Not only makes you very, very passionate, but there's something here, especially with the Nine of Cups. I mean, this this is your your wish fulfilled. This is um. There's something here that you feel that you have to compete or you have to be competitive. That you have to, uh, um, it, it's just the weirdest thing. Do you think maybe uh, someone comes on too strong and you're waiting for um, uh, innocence? Are you waiting for them to show a different side? Very, very hard to read, but the twins are always very hard to read. But what I can see is that everything seems good, but there seems to be, for some reason, um, a competitiveness. Are, are you... Um, hold on. I'm going to get the Princess of Wands here. Followed by um, the Seven of Swords Deception. Followed by the Five of Swords Defeat. <laughs> Followed by the five of discs, the destitution, the, the leaving things out in the cold. All right, so there's a lot more going on here than I can even probably even pick up. But I can tell you what spirit spe is speaking here by looking at these cards and listening to spirit. I, I would have to say, Gemini, um... There's a possibility here that you are very passionate about somebody and it scares the hell out of you. Or it seems to be that you're waiting on innocence. Waiting on innocence. What does that mean? And, and the competition card is right in front of this. Is it that somehow you might have gotten someone that is... Strong, strong as you, or stronger than you. Maybe someone that you feel that you have to compete with because maybe they have a, a better job, or um, uh, I don't know, more intelligence, or whatever this may be, but you feel um, insecure here with this relationship for some reason. Um, but this is a wish fulfillment. And we've got ten cups, ten discs, nine nine cups. It's all here, and the 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 vibrancy and the planning in your mind, but yet there's this competition here. 
Everything says go. Everything here says go. But there's something on the other side here that tells you something different. There's something here that tells you that maybe you're being deceived. That maybe uh, there might be ego here. That somebody may have a stronger ego. Uh, or somebody may be a stronger leader. Um, could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, who always has this uh, very, very strong leadership quality about them. Maybe you don't feel that, that you can keep up. And so what we get is this five of pentacles. This I'm going to leave it out in the cold. I'm going to run and, and hide and ghost because I, I don't know how to deal with, with this kind of force. Well, there's, there's really no way to deal with it. I mean, if the love is there, and what I see is the love is here. Two of cups and six of cups. The love is definitely here. Now, it could be a lover. It could be a family member that you're on the outs with. Um, but it, it could be, well, it could be anybody. But there's something here that happened at work. So I don't know if you met this person at work or, but there was great sorrow here. And, and, and the great sorrow, along with this work, I, I do see that there, there was a, a small amount of passion that you showed um, with the uh, Prince of Cups. Now, not a lot of passion, but I think that maybe you might have just said maybe a, a couple words too many. That that kind of passion, it wasn't huge. But now we have the three of discs, which is works in the reverse. It is, uh, wow. And fortune, wow, and fortune in the reverse. Okay, Gemini, uh, darling, you got to swing this around, okay? You, you got to take these two cards. You got to swing them around. Go upside down with these two cards. Okay. Uh, this is um. This is if you continue to ghost. And, and run and hide and and feel and and feel these feelings of defeat, or or deception. Um, wanting to explore with the Ace of Wands, wanting to explore. Uh, sorry, that's a princess of wands. But it's... I don't know, Gemini, if maybe you found uh, a true love, but you haven't yet sowed your wild oats. Or if you found your true love at work, maybe. Then, uh, or they showed up at your work, but something caused great sorrow. And now there is no more work with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So it appears that maybe you were either laid off or reprimanded in some way. Or someone caused you to become fired or whatever. But I don't see you blowing up at them. I do see, though, that with this person, this energy, that they are what is right for you. And they're, the doors are wide open. The doors are wide open for you. But if you continue on, I just see... I see the uh, rebuilding and the fortune in the reverse. There, there's some um, going within, but the going within is feeling that I've been deceived, is feeling I've been defeated, is feeling destitution, is feeling being left out in the cold. Boy, oh boy, you're going to have to talk to those twins, darling. So we got the high priestess. And we have the Queen of Cups. Oh, we're doubled up in Pisces here. Intuition. All right, uh, High Priestess and, and the Queen of Cups together. A very, very strong force, and that could be what's scaring you. Very, very strong force here. And it, it just seems, um, well, this force, this is the one that you should be with. And this is the one that will help you... Um, with the two of discs to uh, help you stabilize. And this is the one, whoever it is, is um, the one. It, it appears that without them, there's just uh, really bad feelings within yourself. Really bad feelings. And, and not only that, you don't just ghost um, uh, friends, or you just don't ghost 
one friend, you ghost all friends. You don't just ghost uh, the lover, you ghost everybody. It, it just, it's all or nothing, it appears to be, in this reading anyway. It appears to be all or nothing. It's like I'm either in or I'm just way out. Six of Swords. It is, I, I gotta go to calmer water, but where is the calmer water? I don't understand here. Where is the calmer water? It, it's got to be, um, Gemini, God love you, darlings. You know, I, I love you to death, but uh, just sometimes you, you've really got to talk to your other twin there and, and ask yourself, where is the calm, what's wrong with the waters I'm in now? Because truthfully, I don't see it. Uh, with this Gemini or this group of Geminis, I can tell you truthfully, I don't see it. What I'm seeing is what way too much thought, what way too much um, uh, uh, feeling bad and, and ghosting and hiding when the doors are wide open for you. Uh, there's love, there's enrichment, there, there's a king of freaking pentacles, there, there, there's money, there, everything is here, doors are open, but you feel that you have to compete and you wait for some sort of innocence. I don't understand that. The only thing I can understand or what Spirit is telling me, that waiting for innocence is a possibility that maybe maybe you're feeling a little bit um, lower. I hate to use that word because nobody's really lower. We're, we're all brothers and sisters. But maybe you're feeling just less adequate than the other. Maybe the other is, is like really good financially and, 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 and you're having a hard time. Or maybe the other is um, uh, just um, really good at speaking, like I wish I was right now. But, and maybe you have a hard time opening up and, and this frightens you or this scares you or this part of them it, you, you don't find innocent, and so you wait for innocence. But uh, truthfully, what I'm feeling here is that you're waiting for someone to submit and, and bring themselves um, more into your corner. Uh, I hope you understand what that means. That, that's the best that I can do. But, but Gemini, this, this is what I have for your reading. Don't, don't ever, no matter... Everybody is good at something. Everybody has gifts. And if you found a very gifted person, well, damn, come on, like, congratulations. But don't feel that it is competition. Uh, well, I, I don't think that I'm good enough for them because, well, look how talented and gifted they are. But don't don't feel that way. Just, just say to yourself, wow, I, I can learn from this person. I, I can I, I can sit in their aura. I can sit in their gift. I have access to this gift. So uh, think of it that way and, 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 and relish it. Love it. Okay, because this person does have, like, wow, they got some amazing freaking gifts. The High Priestess <laughs> and the Queen of Cups, they got some amazing, amazing freaking gifts. And, and, and I believe you do too. So don't deceive yourself because this gift, this other one, has the gifts that you can, you can use, that that can benefit you. That can turn these cards right side up, the the fortune card, and the uh, and the three of discs that can help you rebuild, and and teach you teach you how to turn those cards upside down. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. Damn, it's a hell of a reading. This is what I got for you, darling. Let's find out who you might be dealing with. Very large Pisces. Very large Pisces. Um, we have um, a Virgo here. Let's give me a moment, darling. Let's find out what we got. Whoa. We have Aries. Uh, Libra's here. Taurus. Um, Aries again. 
a, a lot of cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. On your way out the door, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you know next time that Spirit and I are out here. Thank you, Spirit. Namaste, Gemini.